Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. We're here with Chris. What up? And today we're gonna do something on the Jeep that I need to fix the steering. So let me show you exactly what it is. But before I get started, if you guys wanna help out the channel and support, you can buy a couple shirts, maybe some accessories that'll help us out a lot to keep the channel moving. So yeah, like I said, if you wanna support, notdrawfro.com. Now let me show you what I got. So on the Jeep, I still have somewhat of a loose steering and I think that's the gearbox. I have tightened it, but it still has some play. So I think the gearbox is just not good anymore. The steering parts that I put on from Trail Forge, it actually did help the steering get more stiff, but it's, I don't know, it still has a little bit of play. When I hit a pothole, I do get a little bit of wobble. And that might be because of the caster angles. I haven't adjusted that yet, but that'll be soon. So I ended up getting this Falcon steering stabilizer off of a JL. Now this one I did pick up used, it's not new. It does have a little bend right here. It got hit on the back side. It's not really too noticeable, but you can kind of see it there. But anyways, we're still gonna use it. The guy that had it on his Jeep, the only reason he took it off is because he upgraded his steering and he got a new stabilizer. So what we have to do to make this fit on the Jeep, pretty simple. We have the bolt going through this right here. And on this side, we have this mount for a JL or a JT. What we're gonna do is I ordered this kit. These clamps come on these stabilizers for the JK, I believe. So I ordered this clamp. This will replace this one here. We have to remove a screw right there. Now, the way that it'll mount on the steering, the clamp will, you know, just go over the top right there like that. It fits perfectly. And then since I have the upgraded steering from Trail Forge, I have an open hole right there for the old track bar. And if I put the steering stabilizer right there, the body side of the stabilizer goes to about the middle of the bar. So to have enough room for the rod to move back and forth, the stabilizer is a pass through. So what that means is the bar over here, when you turn, it actually goes through and you know, in as you turn. So we're gonna go ahead and install it. And yeah, I hope I explained everything correctly. What we're gonna do first is remove this old mount and get the new one on. What do you say, Chris? I think someone fucked up my toolkit. Mm, I think it's fine. Mm. <laughs> so if you order the kit, you will have the bracket for the 1.5 inch, and it comes with the bolt that goes through the track bar if you want to mount it that way. I don't know if we could use this on this Jeep because I don't know the thickness of that, but that's a possibility. It comes with new stickers because this changes the angle of where the sticker is originally on that. So we'll have another sticker to put on. It comes with like a badge as well. And it comes with some thread locker, uh, some of the pins to hold it in place, and the bolts that go through here, like that. So, well, it doesn't go that way, it goes on the other side, but. Yeah, so the main pieces here that we're gonna use, the four Allen screws, and the two little hold down ones that go in the center here that grab onto the bar. And the O-ring is something we're gonna need as well. We're gonna go ahead and remove the bracket here. And on the instructions it says, you need a torch to heat up the thread locker that's on there and we're able to remove the, the screw. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're running out of gas, so we're just gonna try to send it. And on the instructions it says to use a vice grip. We don't have one. So we're gonna try our best to loosen it up since we don't have a, a vice grip. So we got the bracket off of the stabilizer. It's pretty easy to do. Um, I would definitely recommend getting a vice grip. So you want to hold onto the bracket itself, heat it up. We use some map gas and then the screw that goes in here actually threads out um, clockwise. So like to the right and then it will come out. We were making that mistake yesterday, turning it to the left. So now we have it out. We're going to put the new bracket on and I'll show you the process. So we got the new mount on the vice grip and I put these just so it doesn't scratch up the mount. Uh, in the packet, you get a new O-ring. So make sure you put that on the, on the screw of the stabilizer. So throw that on there. And then it also comes with some thread lockers, so we're going to put that on now. Oh, let me, do, let me get the torque wrench. So the last step is to torque it down to 30 foot-pounds. Chris is going to do that. Alright, so we got that there. Now on... Now on this side, I do have it at an angle since that's what makes it kind of straight. If I put it up here, it's going to bind up, so I'm going to put it towards the back, and yeah, let's see how that does. Okay, so that's what it's looking like right now. I have this just hand tight, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up, and then see if it binds anywhere. But uh, I have it going through there, where the original track bar was, and then like about the middle of the, the track bar. 
So I don't know if that angle is correct, but I'm gonna send it and hopefully it doesn't bind up. Now we are gonna tighten these bolts down here to 15 foot pounds and then yeah, let's see how that does. Okay, so there we go, it's on. One of the screws actually snapped. So it says on the on the paper 15 foot pounds and it didn't even click and it snapped it. So uh, for now I'm just gonna see how it drives. I am gonna replace it though because obviously you don't want a snap screw. So that's tightened. Next, we're gonna tighten that one over there and then take it for a test drive. All right, so we got it all mounted up, as you can tell right there. The only issue is it's binding up, it's hitting uh, that bracket right there for the track bar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up putting a spacer behind the bushing there. That way it brings the stabilizer out more and it doesn't hit that. Uh, but that'll be for another video because right now, I'm just gonna send it, the stores are closed and let's take it for a test drive actually. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and try it out. It already feels way better. It feels like a new car, other than this play that I have. So I think that's in the gearbox, to be honest. That'll be on the list as well. But other than that, the steering actually feels really stiff. I have it on the stiff setting on the stabilizer. And right now we're about to hit a spot where I used to always get death wobble. Now I just get like a wobble, but it's not death wobble. So hopefully this fixes that. So it'd be like right here. Nothing. Ah, uh, nothing. Want to go to one side or the other? So I think that's definitely the gearbox. No, nothing. Nothing. That took it pretty well. So that's it for today's video. I still need to finish a couple things on it, like adding the spacer to the stabilizer end because it is uh, hitting on the trail forge mount. But other than that, I drove it. It feels way better than it was before. It actually feels solid. It feels like a new car, but the gearbox still feels loose. So that's gonna be something that we will change out in the future. That's it. If you guys have any questions about the stabilizer or how I installed it, just let me know. Hit me up on Instagram, Nadra Offroad. And don't forget to check out the website, nadraoffroad.com. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.